Hi, I'm Doug Wilson with the Paint Source Network. For today's project, we're going to look at a horse barn. We're coating wood, pine, wood inside a horse barn. This is going to be a great project to tell you all about Waterlock's tongue oil finish and why it is the absolute best product for any horse barn or any livestock facility for that matter. There's three or four things that make Waterlock's my number one choice, it's made it the number one choice for my clients over the years. We pack and ship water locks all over the country. On this particular project, we have a friend who is building a horse barn on her rehab facility farm. So this is a place where horses come for rehabilitation. So clients will be in here. This is like a horse hospital almost. So they're going to want to see a nicely finished room for their horse. And the water locks is going to do that better than anything available. A couple things about water locks. It's a hardening oil, so it's not a film former. It's not something that's going to lay on top of the surface like a hard shell and get scratched and get cracked off or popped off through the tremendous amount of moisture that can get behind the finish. In this barn, there's all kinds of places. Down here at the bottom, this, this track on the door could hold some water. Um, the sun will pull that water out and if we have polyurethane on this bottom uh, of this stall door, I guarantee you you'll see peeling within several years, maybe three or four. Um, polyurethane never works. The marine spar varnish never works in a horse barn because it's a film forming hard shell finish. There's so many places where moisture can get behind the wood through the cracks in the wood. This barn is already constructed. So each of these cracks is a place where water, if it's sprayed down, it's going to get water behind that. The water gets under the film and again, it's trapped under a plastic polyurethane or marine spar varnish and we see failure many, many times. We're here in Lexington, Kentucky, the horse capital of the world and I'll tell you, we've seen a lot of horse barns over the years and I've seen everything from polyurethane, sickens wood finishes, log home coatings, deck stains, and again the common polyurethane or marine varnish. All these solutions are used on a majority of barns and it's the wrong choice in my mind for every single case. Waterlocks is the only choice because it's a non-film forming, non-sanding needed for maintenance. It beautifies the wood it does not have to be sanded between coats. So this is easy maintenance and it's extended maintenance because it looks good longer than a poly. It's not going to peel. It's not going to scratch like a poly or a varnish. And it's going to be able to be recoated and refreshed if we do get incidental scratches or wear and tear. Maybe this ladder, after a few years, you're going to wear that out. You're going to have work shoes on and mud and grit on your feet and you'll simply take a rag and wipe a couple coats of sealer finish right on that and that'll be brand new again. For the stalls themselves, again there's very little reason that these are going to need anything more than a fresh coat. Oh probably, I mean, could be 10 years down the road. It just depends on the particular exposure. But these walls are going to be well protected from most of what they're going to be exposed to and they'll be easily washed off because the wood is sealed. And we won't see the typical mildew and discoloration of wood that we see with the other typical finishes. Again, uh, most of the polyurethanes that we see in a horse barn, they're going to peel at some point in the life of the, of the finish. Water locks will never peel. Water locks never need sanded for recoating. Waterlocks enhances the wood to a level that's much higher than a typical oil finish. And we can see up here even this particular section has one single coat and you can see where the color is really popped out of there. And then we can start to look up here toward above this door where they stopped at the conduit there. So no coat, no coating yet versus one coat. And then again at the end of this board coated, uncoated. And you can see again how it's starting to enhance and pop that color with just a single coat. 
We're going to show it after the second or the third coat, and we're going to show it after the fourth coat when it's done. This is just give you a little idea of why Waterlocks is the best finish for any horse mount.